Hello, boys and girls, Coach Michael here. Another programming, practical programming video your way. One of the common themes I keep hearing is technique. Now, what you need to know about technique refinement is that you need far less of technique than you think. But what you really need, and this is what actually people don't want to do is a specific endurance, AKA training program and lifting, AKA suffering. And I'm talking obviously about kettlebell sport. Now, as far as technique goes, here's the same. When I started and I'm here telling you what I've done and like 15 years of my lifting on and off and my personal you know, journey and, uh, you know, hate love relationship with certain exercises. So when I began, I learned technique. Okay. I had a coach. It was working on the jerk, on the second dip, on the snatch, understanding this uh, subtleties. Then I began to train and that's it. And from time to time, I would like nag my coach saying like, what's about my technique? And he said like, Listen, your technique is fine. Like, kind of shut up and keep keep lifting. But as we all know, like, what does coach knows? I know better. So <laughs> I went to see other coaches in YouTube, and I saw like you know this. We all love this, you know, technical secrets, and we seeing that I've just if I'll just turn my elbow a little bit inside, my snatch will improve from one hundred to two hundred or I will add another 20 reps to my jerk on my long cycle. So I've began to train with it, like to play with these techniques and stuff. And like, you know, suddenly my lower back, which I have my history with, began to get funky in a bad way. So I told my coach and like, you know, listen, I've tried this technique and my coach was, what the fuck are you doing? And why? Your technique is fine. Just keep following the program. <laughs> I did. And eventually, okay, like now I've earned the conversation with him. And like I've told him, listen, um, with triathlon training, you know, like my um, my triceps and my shoulders are fatiguing. Maybe I need some, you know, special GPP. Maybe I need some um, assistance exercises like, you know, narrow bench press, dips, etc. And I believe he had enough of me. <laughs> so he like recorded me a message. Um, but what he shared is gold. And I want to share it with you. He told me, listen, you lift on and with your physique, meaning your heart and your head. That's it. Said so you don't need any technical stuff or improvements because your technique is fine and uh, enough and and this is the part that we mostly missing on the level that you are me myself now with the preparation that you're going through your technique is like beyond what you need like if you were a pro okay in my case and pro is 32s and if you were world class, like I'm fighting for the top in the world, all right? Um, and your physique is absolutely smoked. Now, smoked physique is not like, oh, shit, it hurts. I will end the set. <laughs> no. Okay, it happens. It's basically when you're jerking and your heads are like your hands are crumbling upon you. Now, if you ever experienced it, it is scary. Because this is one time that kettlebell actually or two can really head bump you. All right. So you're doing it and everything fails. Your leg, like you are like this, like a monkey. All right. This is a physique failure. I said, when you come to that point, only then trying to tweak your technique will benefit you in squeezing a couple of more reps, maybe giving you another minute, half minute on a platform so you can fight for this first 
top place. Okay, it's like top swimmers, you know, battling for these micro nanoseconds. Like this is the case. Other than this, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like you have a program, you're fine. And I was, and then I imposed the question on him and I said, listen, like if I understand you correctly, what? Like all the technical videos and emphasis is what? Is like promoting, is marketing, is bullshit. And he said, no, 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 no. Okay, like let me explain. At first, you need to establish a basic proper technique okay like with the second dip and understand and with the snatch so you don't do like gross mistakes okay like really ugly mistakes that can um compromise your back health your shoulder health right like when it comes like when your technique is like settled you just need lifting 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 and lifting and then some more lifting and then everything will be fine and now when i go through my journey like for triathlon and again i'm about to attempt to do three classical lifts jerk long cycle two bells uh snatch one bell one switch unbroken like so it's going to be 30 minutes i'll try to do my best um of catable triathlon and by doing those reps i've understood i've understood like eternally viscerally stuff about technique that i was seeing the pros do but i couldn't kind of like grasp it because i haven't done enough reps in this range and for example when I prepared for my snatch marathon, which is 60 minutes, one hour snatch for the 21 World Championship, IKF, IKMF, it was a complete different preparation because I've multi-switched. So I've done a huge, stupid amount of reps. But because it was a multi-switch, I, like, I, I didn't get that far. Now... If I need to snatch immediately after doing jerks and long cycle, then my body goes like through this, I don't know, like Zen Nirvana say, state saying like, ooh, like now I have use of this, you know, secret pivots and these rotations and the hips and like the clock technique, which I showed on my uh, latest Instagram video, whatever. Like, it comes by itself. And then when I watch the videos of the pros, like best coaches, I'm reassuring to myself and saying, ah, this is what he talked to me about. Okay. So um, let's conclude this promo. This is part one. And in part two, um, I'm going to show you the massive cycle, uh, how to build, like how to actually approach if you want to, Take an athlete and leave an athlete, lead, sorry, an athlete. And um, how would I personally design this long, long-term pathway? All right. If you're coming for me for 12 weeks, you'd be better lifting for a couple of years. Okay. Then my 12 weeks will serve you to the best ability and trust me, you will scale. Okay. Because if you're starting all right, the 12 weeks will benefit you for sure, but it won't benefit you like uh, results wise, okay? Because technical wise and condition wise, obviously, but like results wise, I want to scale my 16 or 20 and I'm just starting. Sorry, okay, that's my genuine um, answer. You need a little bit more time than this because probably you cannot sustain the tempos. All right, so. Let me open a whiteboard for you. Uh, where is the whiteboard? Here it is. Uh, we don't need sticky notes. All right. So let me draw a timeline, okay? Because this is what we're talking about here. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about the basic block periodization because this is the only thing it is. So um, I will do three blocks. Now, they obviously don't have to be uh, the same, you know, timeline. 
So this block can last, I don't like, you know what? Let's say eight weeks. Okay, forgive my eight. <laughs> this block can be, you know, well, where's the eraser here? Nope. Oh, here it is. I don't like it. Um, you know what? Just for example, say it. And the last block will be 12 weeks respectively. Okay. So block number one, let's switch to text because now it's easier, will be like this. We're talking about time tolerance we're talking about weights okay eight twelves and sixteens all right let's correct the tolerance all right uh, kgs and let's take goal um 12 to 15 minutes with 12 kilograms right so this is okay so this is the initial block we will do it eight weeks because if you are a normal healthy male um you can handle 12 kilograms all right they're light enough for you to um you know suffer <laughs> positively okay uh, or endure positively okay because heavier weights will uh break you and we're in for a long haul so when i've done establishing my time tolerance and time tolerance okay reduces what we call okay a uh, fear of the clock now fear of the clock is real okay like real and it exists all right so when you used to go beyond 10 minutes when you get go heavy like kind of 10 minutes are already ticking okay you're not uh, petrified by like oh my god i'm minute six i have four minutes to go like oh my like what can i do like everything burning like you think all right like i've done it i know it it will burn it will pass i can carry it so and it's easier to drop from 15 to 10 rather to, rather than to try and scale from 5 to 10 all right so next 6 weeks let's take we are taking a um sorry a goal uh 16 kg 10 minute set all right so our weight selection will become 12 16 and i'm not talking about the exercise all right it's general thinking okay so follow my thinking here and um, kg is bell this is where going to be our weight deviation and uh goal number two all right so we have primary goal let's make it go number one it's a tempo baseline and this is very crucial okay so uh, okay um, bum, 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 bum. all right it's good enough okay oh beautiful all right so let's follow the logic here We've done a very heavily, like eight weeks is, is a good mesocycle. Light, lighter bell, so you have enough confidence that you can do it. And you're like pushing the clock, you're getting used to the long sets because this is what kettlebell is all about, all right? Just please don't do ladders, okay? Don't drag hard style thinking into gear voice sport. Okay? Like five, three, one rep, uh, circle it, right? It won't do you any good at all all right um after eight weeks of special preparation okay we have a program dedicated we are moving to six weeks block 
where you just want to have like to hold there for 10 minutes and understand what tempo can you pull like let's say you maybe do like i don't know like 60 70 reps of jerk long cycle something along these lines or you can handle uh 1400 uh, snatches all right fair enough and i don't care okay and we just write down the results here now the last 12 weeks okay so we now have what 26 weeks about half a year of solid decent correct athletic development all right no just you know i'll take your money and whatever okay not just like whatever like pay me i will promise you everything including like you know my wife my kids my house my life you know just like pay me and let's do something about 12 weeks all right like no all right we are doing a good old soviet okay base building work that after that will stay with you forever like bicycle and in those 12, 12 weeks we are going to do goal like the main goal is scaling 16 kgs all right so you see we are not uh, moving on because you need some um uh benchmark all right and benchmark let's say jerk sorry 80 plus reps lc 70 plus and snatch at least 170 okay and our kettlebell variability will be will be probably i'm putting in brackets maybe some 12s but we may mainly will do 16 20 and 24 because we're talking about special preparation and you need to tolerate very heavy load okay respectively 24 for you know short maybe intervals later and uh, to tolerate properly your um your 16 sets so after 24 you're taking 16s it feels like eight you're doing like damn like i don't care like just punch the clock and let me move and this is what we want all right only after that we can um let's make it beautiful because i'm a little bit all right oh perfect <laughs> um okay so this is you have like here you have 26 weeks mesocycle continuum right thinking it lacks programming itself the micro uh micro cycle like the weekly deviation and weekly programming and variability and this is something personal because as my coach told taught me like you have a little bit of art magic and he's he's right each and every individual that they've coached although the template come on guys right the template like the growth template like it's pretty much the same because if our goal to lift 10 minutes like there is like not much possibilities but within the template how you move the numbers okay how you shift it all right it's completely okay completely individual because everybody has his own lifestyle you know his own her own stuff going on and uh, weight tolerance psychological tolerance whatever okay so now you know go and think go and design feel free to share it with me if you want to okay feel free to approach me and ask me questions and like because i will gladly okay contribute my humble two cents for your better smarter and safer lifting so this is the practical programming sessions for today thank you very much i am coach michael you better recognize no no <laughs> just kidding 
All right, and I'll see you in my next practical programming sessions. Love you guys. Stay safe, live smart, and lift a lot. Peace.